Cheers. Woo, let's go get this bag. Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. So I just got done um, filming how I got ready for work and I'm actually gonna head out the door right after I do this and change for my PJs, obviously. Um, before the video started, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna make another video this week, um, Q&A video. So I want you guys to ask me any stripper questions you have in the comments below right now before the video starts because I know I've been getting a lot of um, Instagram messages from you guys and stuff like that about things and I can't really go into depth into the questions because there's so many and I want to answer them long and you know with a lot of uh, explanations and everything so if you have any questions about how I got started how to be a baby stripper and you know start out in the industry how I went to college and was a dancer how much money I make how I meet customers how I been dancing how I've been making money blah blah blah, blah. anything that you guys want to know just um Think of a question think of as many questions as you can honestly and i'll feature them in the video that i'm going to post this week so i hope you guys enjoy this video um and i'll see you guys later we're going to get started i'm gonna um do a little bit of my hair first because it's bothering me how it's looking um actually i'm gonna prep and prime my skin and do my hair while i let the pre um the moisturizer and primer sit on there because it is nice to let it uh get tacky so Cheers. Um, let's see. So to prep and prime my skin, I um, I already I used. Um, if you guys want a skincare routine, let me know. But I there's a lot that I use. But for just uh, prepping it for makeup, I use the Milk Hydro uh, Hydro Grip Primer, and I use the Elf um, Putty Primer. I know I used to use the Tatcha one. The silk canvas but honestly they're really really similar so and this one's way cheaper so I definitely have been using it instead after I went through my whole Tatcha one so with the milk one I just put it all over so now I'm gonna take the elf putty primer oh I got a lot okay and I'm gonna this one I focus more Ooh, girl. All right, this one I focus more on my under eyes. Oops, I have a sparkle. On my under eyes and my laugh line. So basically, like the places that have like more wrinkles, because this one is more of a smoothing one, so it'll smooth that. And then the one that I used before, the milk one, is more of a um, blurring one. So I know it's a lot using two primers, but I really like how they both work together. All right, so that's done. So like I said, now I'm going to let that sit on my face um, and I'm gonna do my hair a little bit because it is looking crazy. While I do my hair, because I can't really, there's really nothing to explain while I do my hair. Um, I'm gonna kind of tell you guys how I got started. Maybe that'll um, inspire some questions for you guys for my next video. So, let's see. So, I was, I think I was 18 or 19. I'm 23 now. So, I was 18 or 19. I actually am from Ohio. Um, that's where I grew up. I went to University of Cincinnati. Um, but, yeah. So, I was in school. Actually, no. This was the summer before I started college. So, um, the summer before I started college, me and a couple of my friends. It was my friend, my best friend's birthday. We're not best friends anymore. But my best friend at the time's birthday um and what happened was we were like you know just going out whatever and we have fake ids and all that um but i think we didn't need the fake ids to get into the club because you just have to be 18. so whoops hold on so um we went to this strip club this local strip club well it wasn't local it was in a city over because Cincinnati doesn't have strip clubs and um yeah so Cincinnati doesn't have strip club it's all like the ones um up north this uh the strainer that I'm using is the bioionic 10x or 10 times um I really like it because it gets hot as soon as you turn it on and I don't know if you guys hear that 
it vibrates. So it vibrates and straightens your hair super fast. I love it. It's really good. It was like maybe $250. I don't remember. I got it online. But yeah, I love it. So anyway, so me and my friends, we go to the strip club for her birthday after we went out that night. And one of the bouncers came up to us and he gave me a card and he's like, um, on Mondays we have like auditions. If you want to come, you should. You know, it's like amateur night. I think you do really well here, blah, blah, blah. And at the time I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, I would never do that. You know what I mean? But not that I looked down on it, it's just that I never even thought about it as an option. So I just was like, yeah, that's cool. And I kept the little card in my wallet. And at the time I was a hostess at a restaurant and it was the summer before college, you know, so I was like, I don't, I mean, being a hostess at a restaurant, you don't make a lot of money, obviously. You make, you make like nothing compared to like what I make now. It's like pocket change, barely. So, um, I was still working at that job uh, as a hostess and then, um, one day I was like, you know what, I want to go try it. Even though I was like so nervous or whatever, I was like, I want to go try it. And I hit up my friend Heather from high school and she was like, I'm down to go try it with you. So we went. Oh, those are my dogs barking. <laughs> okay, so we went um, for amateur night and we got a lot of customers, like a lot of customers were throwing money on us on stage. And then the club was like, okay, we liked how you guys looked on stage for amateur night and we want to hire you guys. So we were like, oh shit. So they were like, come back, like, you know, whenever you want and you can work and you can start working here and file, you know, and do all your paperwork and all that. So that weekend, me and Heather went back to the club and we worked and it was, it was, it was nerve wracking at first. And then you're just like, whatever, like, these guys are drunk. Like, we couldn't drink at the time at work. Now, you know, I can drink and do whatever I want and sell bottles and stuff. But back then, um, the club didn't even offer liquor because in Ohio, I don't think you can sell liquor and be nude at the same time. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I didn't care what people thought at that point because I'm like, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. And that's another thing. I can go into all that and actually... I have sto so many story times about how people found out and how people were like hating and all this other shit. But anyways, <laughs> so um, we worked that night. We made a lot of money. We made her we both made like a thousand or over our first night. And we were like, wow, bro. Like, do you know how long it takes me to make this as a freaking hostess at a restaurant? Literally ages, ages. So I was sold. I was like, fuck my real job i want to do this and i'll have so much money during college um and this was like i said the summer before uh my freshman year semester started so i was like let me work while i'm doing this and then um or let me work before the school year starts and then fuck it i'm gonna work during the school year so that's exactly what i did um and there's so much more to that. Like, if you guys want to know some story times, like where my roommates found out, my dorm roommates found out, and they were being total bitches about it. They were super, like, you know, rude about it. They were like, you know, <laughs> like an example was when one time one of my roommates sent me a pic, like we were arguing about something. I don't really remember what, but they sent me a picture of like a, the strip, you know how strip clubs have their own dollars? Some strip clubs do, not all of them, but some strip clubs, usually the gentlemen's clubs, have their own dollars. Like, let's say the place is called Chicks Cabaret, it'll have Chicks Dollars, or Ultra Cabaret, it'll have Ultra Dollars, Tootsie's Cabaret, it'll have Tootsie's Dollars. So yeah, so they found like one of those dollars on the ground, and they're like, I don't appreciate, she sent me like in a text, I don't appreciate finding this on my floor. And I'm like... You didn't, they didn't find it on the floor, first of all. I knew exactly where it was inside of my bag. So they were like snooping inside of my shit. And it was just like, ugh. So if you guys want to know the story about that, let me know. But I ended up like getting in a fight with one of them. Me and my friend Heather. And um, I they moved me to a dorm by myself. 
and which was great which was great i loved having a dorm by myself my boyfriend at the time could visit me and we could be alone so whatever plus i didn't have to worry about them annoying me when i came home late like it was just like you know they weren't being cool about it they were being really nosy and it's like you know those people that feel like they're entitled to know your whole life story or your business and i hate people like that it's just like i don't know i'm not the type to just tell people what, like offer information to people like no if i feel like telling you something about myself because i trust you or i like you that's that if i don't i don't like don't force it so yeah that was what how i started and um um and oh i guess you guys don't know like because i live in miami now and i've actually been living here for three years so how i ended up moving to miami was actually my sophomore year my parents moved to a part of florida um like more north like tampa ish i don't want to like say exact but um so they moved up north in Florida, and I was like, you know what, let me finish this semester and then I'm going to go to Florida. Now I don't want to go to where my parents are at because I, I know that Miami's fucking popping. So I was like, let me go to Miami. So, you know, I had the money to move when I wanted, and that's exactly what I did. I just finished out the semester, packed my shit. And I drove my car all the way down to Miami with all my stuff in it. And the rest is history. <laughs> so that's how I, and that was three years ago. Three years ago, I think I was 19, 20 or 19, cause now I'm 23. But yeah, so that's how I ended up here. It really wasn't like, it was my plan or anything. It's just that my parents were moving and I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to be somewhere different I mean I was never planning on staying in Ohio forever I mean that's depressing Midwest is depressing to me it's not my vibe I want to be able to see palm trees every day and blah 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 so yeah I moved okay so I think I'm gonna be done with my hair um I'm gonna touch it up at the end but I just had to like straighten or go through the whole my whole head of hair with the strainer first just to like tame it a little bit and i'm gonna turn this off and i'm gonna come back to it at the end of the video but um so let's get started on this makeup shall we i'm gonna pop ah! i'm gonna pop open another one this is a morphe sponge a little precision sponge with nyx dewy finish yeah oops I got this all dirty. This is my mirror. This is an Amazon mirror, guys. Okay, so today I went to Ulta and I got some Juvia's Place um, foundation, concealer, and setting powder. Um, now, I usually use Tarte Concealer. I use Born This Way foundation. And then what powder do I usually use? Fuck, I cannot think of the name. It's one that everyone loses the uses um, the loose powder. I can't think of it because it got empty and I threw it away. But okay, so this is Juvia's place. This is in the color Giza or yeah Giza 540. So this is my first time using it fully on my face. So we'll see how it is. And don't mind my lashes. These are um, I need to get a fill in. I always have lash extensions. So let's get started with this. Okay. All right, so let's try this out. I'm excited. Ooh, it's like a little thick. I got it to match my body, guys, so if it's a little bit dark, don't hate. Because I do tan, so. It's, it's thick. Usually when I use um, Born This Way, it's a lot um it's a lot more thinner than this and it's a lot waterier oh this is like a whole like mask on my face i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> what the fuck okay hold on
not bad it actually matches really well with my neck i don't know if you guys can tell but it does if you think it doesn't it's because the camera's fucking up but i'm seeing it in real life and it does okay so let's move on this is number magic concealer number 18 i like to sit, let my concealer sit under my eye for a while but um some of them you can't because they get cakey so i'm gonna just let it sit under while i do my brows i like how it's thick like that it's got a nice doe foot applicator and i got a nice color I, did, I usually get like way lighter concealer but um i got a color that i feel like i could use to like spot conceal and stuff like that because i have so many light concealers okay. Whew. Excuse me. Okay, so for my brows, I'm using e.l.f. And this is in the color, I don't know, uh, brown, black brown or something like that. Is you gonna leave that high? Baby, we gonna be alright. Ain't no fuss in a fight, Baby, we just fucking, cause you know I got options. I ain't got no conscience. Then I use the e.l.f. wax eyebrow thing, and it kind of makes the um, it makes hair stand up where you want them to. I really like it. It actually really works. It's like, you know, that soap trick that everyone was using. I think like Desi Perkins was talking about it, um, but it's kind of the same thing, but it's like, you know, wax. It's not, you're not having to use soap, um, and it really like makes it stand and makes your eyebrows really feathery. Actually, if you use it, um, really if you use it before you use like sometimes when i just want a natural brow i won't use the elf brow pencil i'll just use that and i'll just um have my uh, eyebrows look really feathery so this is elf um brow uh what is what the hell is this shit called brow gel brow gel exactly that's what the fuck it's called so elf brow gel and i'll just this is Juvia's Place um, Magic Setting Powder in White Sands. And I'm going to use that under my eyes. But first, actually, before that, um, this is Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I'm going to sharpen it a little bit. And I'm just going to go right under my brows and put it right under there. I'm not going to blend it in until a little bit later. Okay, so... I'm gonna blend in that concealer that I let sit. Oh, it sit really nicely. Yay. I'm happy. Yeah, it sit really nicely. It didn't get crusty or anything. Some of them get crusty and I don't like that. So now I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place powder for the first time. Okay, so I got some of it. I'm gonna use the Morphe sponge again. And I'm gonna Put it right under my eye. I only bake for like a little bit. I don't want to bake for too long. Um, so I'm going to bake it while I contour. So this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Truffle. And I'm going to get just a little bit. It's like almost, it's actually completely out basically, so I need to get a new one. And I'm gonna, um, wait, I'm gonna use this. This is a NYX Contour Duo Pencil. And I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. And just like that. And contour my lip. And as a wider side, then I'm just gonna put like right in between like that. Okay. Oops. Alright, so after that, I'm just going to blend all of that in. Okay, 
Okay. We're, we're coming together. We're coming together. So I'm going to use this little um, Morphe M432. And I'm going to blend in that um, Wet n Wild we put in earlier. Okay. So now I'm going to go into this um, bronzer by Milani. I can't tell which one it is because it's scratched off, but I think it's the more darker one. Um, and I'm going to go into this um, MUA Addiction brush. It doesn't say which one. It's pretty scratched off, and I'm just going to like highlight a little bit. You know how you use bronzer on your eyes. That's what I always use. I really never use eyeshadow unless I'm really like being going out of the box and whatever so just like that um and then i'm gonna take this huda beauty uh topaz obsession okay this is a morphe m165 and i'm gonna go into here and go into the darkest color which doesn't have a name yeah i can't tell which is which so just the darkest color right there and I'm going to go right on my bottom lash line to just kind of give myself a little bit of a thick lash line. And I'm going to go into this reddish color right next to it and just blend it a little bit. Just a little bit. After that, I'm going to take this Essence Extremely Extreme Lasting um eye pencil in black love and i'm gonna put it on my top lash line because i usually don't do this but because uh, my lashes are thin now because i need to fill which i'm gonna be getting tomorrow um i'm gonna do this just to thicken up the top line i'm going to take this uh real techniques brush and i'm gonna take a little bit more of that um Juvia's Place powder and powder that under eye. Now I'm going to take Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is in Deep Bronze. Um, where's the brush I'm using? And then I'm going to use this brush. This is a Morphe M104. This is like an angled brush. And I'm going to go right there. Right on my cheekbone. just around the perimeter of my face, my jawbone, and down my neck a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush, and this is Luminoso. Use this as a, what brush is this? I think this is a um, cat. It's from that girl, Sonia Kashuk. Sonia Kashuk from um, Target. Right there. I'm going to get a little bit more of that Juvia's Place just to cut the cheek. And I use the Morphe. And cut the cheek right there. I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. And I'm going to... I don't... So this is the thing... I don't really like to highlight on my cheek a lot. Um, so I'll do my nose. Always highlight my nose. Always highlight my inner corner. But I don't like to highlight like my cheek area. Not really. So now I'm gonna take the same brush I was using earlier and I'm just gonna dust off everything I'm gonna spray my face with uh, the dewy finish NYX and I use the um, sponge to kind of push the 
setting spray in because that's what you want to do. So now I'm going to take this is a NYX lip liner and it's called Ever. This is LA Girl Gloss that I just got. I've actually used this one before, but I just got a new one. Um, it's really good. It's a good high shine gloss. And I'm just going to put that on. It's a good high shine clear gloss. So my nail just fucking came off. And I'm so irritated because these nails cost a lot of fucking money. I'm gonna go 125. I'm gonna I got them done last Thursday and it's Tuesday right now. So five days. So you bet your ass I just DM the girl. So hopefully not hopefully. Tomorrow we'll we'll get it figured out. Anyway, so I went and got a um Q tip and I'm gonna go and just uh, remove any makeup that's on my little beauty mark because I don't like to cover it with makeup. And then we're gonna spray ourselves one more time. I actually really like how this um, foundation ended up looking. It's real cute or whatever. Yeah, guys, I'm done with my makeup. So now let's finish up the hair. Um, and so. Uh, when I go to work, I do bring, sometimes I bring stuff to touch up, but not all the time because I um, don't really, nobody wants to be touching up all night. That's not what I'm trying to do. Hold up, did I lose my nail? Because you already know I'm about to glue it back on when I'm done with this. Oh my god. I'm so pissed off. Like, how dare this nail come off right now? Let's touch up the hair, shall we? I'm gonna take it to like 340. So with the hair, I'm gonna just, I don't really add any products on the hair. I would say I just leave it as is. Um, I do have some clip-in extensions in and then I have, I got a sew-in for the first time, which actually is working out really nicely. My hair is long, my hair is like to my boobs, like see that, that's my hair. Um, but I wanted to get, you know, I like length. I want to have long ass hair but I got this sewn literally like almost two months ago so I have to go back this week for sure to get it um, redone there we go mini speeches by the way I think they're from Fashion Nova yeah, I think they're from Fashion Nova. They're actually ripped up because the sizing in Fashion Nova is so fucking inconsistent. So, like, the top fits me and the bottoms don't. But, yeah. Okay, so the hair, the hair is, like, basically done. I just have to, like, spray some hairspray on it or something on my way out. Or they have hairspray at work. I just like to make sure like these areas right here are straight because they will be the first to start flying. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> so I'm done with my makeup. Um, I don't know how it's looking, but it looks really good in person. I still have to figure out my lighting and stuff like that, but in person it looks really good. So I hope that it's reflecting on camera. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm done here. I'm going to get dressed and go to work. Um, I'm going to be making more vlogs for you guys, and I'm definitely going to make that Q&A video. So, um, please um, leave any questions for me in the comments. So, I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Um, I'm excited to grow this channel and make more vlogs for you guys and make more stripper videos, lifestyle videos, whatever, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, just let me know in the comments. I'm so happy that you guys watch my video and I will see you all next time. Cheers Woo, let's go get the bag